Welcome to Ola Vanjas Computer Classes. In this, in this video, I will explain minimum spanning tree. Minimum spanning tree with Kruskal's algorithm. So, what is spanning tree? Spanning tree is a subgraph of a graph with the same vertices and less number of edges. In the previous uh, video, I already uh, I done one uh, video according to uh, spanning tree. Now, what is minimum spanning tree? Minimum spanning tree is a, first of all, it is spanning tree. We see such that sum of the weights associated with all the edges is minimum for example take one graph like four vertices these are the four vertices one two three four vertices names are one two three four that means capital v equal to one two three four four vertices are there and edge set capital e capital e edge sets are edge between one one to another one comma two is one edge 2 comma 3, 3 comma 4, 1 comma 4 like this 4 edges are there. So this is a graph with vertices and edges. If any edge have some number, some weights that is called as weighted graph. Here 1, 2, 2, 10 is there. So 10 is the weight. So any edge, any graph has weights that is called as weight, weighted graph. In this we are finding uh, which one is a minimum spanning tree for that we have two methods are there one is a Kruskal's algorithm second one is a prime's algorithm now we'll explain Kruskal's algorithm for this Kruskal's algorithm first I will take one graph in this graph how many vertices are there means six vertices are there and edges how many edges are there totally nine edges are there so first we prepare minimum weights so edge have some numbers are there, no? those numbers are known as weight. So it is a weighted graph. So prepare a table with edge and their weights, but take weights are with minimum. So in this total graph, which one is the minimum weight? The minimum weight is 2. The 2 is also between B comma D. So B comma D edge, its weight is 2. Next minimum weight is D comma T with weight 2. Next one is C comma D with 3. Next to A comma C that is also 3. Next one is 4 that is B comma C with weight 4. Next one is uh, next to any 4 is there no 5. B comma T is 5 like this we are all are write the table fill the table with edges and their minimum weights in ascending format ascending order. So first prepare this is the first step. So here I have prepared like this, B, T is 5, then A, B is 6, uh, after that 7, 8 is also there, then last one is 8. So this is the Kruskal's algorithm, this is the example, first we take some graph. So according to this graph, we have to draw edges and weights, minimum edge. So here how many edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 edges are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so first we write that we take some draw the table like this edge and weight so which one is the minimum edge so in this these are called as weights so in this which one is the minimum edge b to d the weight is 2 so write first like that so bd the edge is bd the weight is 2 next short test is again minimum weight is this one only d comma t so minimum next edge is dt with weight 2 Next minimum is 3. A to C that is the 3. So like this we can write and C to D which one is C to D? C to D that is also 3. So like this we can write all the edges with the minimum weights. So first we write the minimum weight edges first then last one is the highest weight. So first we prepare the table like this. After that here vertices are 6 and edges are 9. So in this minimum spanning tree, in the spanning tree I already said in the previous video spanning tree. What is a spanning tree means it is the uh, number of vertices are same but edges are less. So how many edges are less means vertexes minus 1. So vertexes minus 1 means how many are there 6 minus 1 that means you have to go for only 5 edges. So for spanning tree vertexes are 6 or edges are v minus 1. v minus 1 means 6 minus 1 5 edges. Otherwise, I, I already said one more method that is m minus n minus 1. What is m minus 1? m means number of edges 9. Uh, n means number of vertices that is 6 minus 1. That means 9 minus 5 that is 4. 
what is this 4 4 number of edges we have to remove so totally 9 edges are there in that 9 edges we have to remove 4 4 means how many edges we require that is 5 so this is also one more method for finding how many edges we require for a spanning tree so in this example we need 6 vertexes with 5 edges ok so first we prepare the table like this then we draw the spanning tree that is also with minimum weights so first we draw the spanning tree so how many vertexes we need 6 vertexes and the 6 vertexes also with the same positions so here s is there a then b don't change the positions here c here d and then here t so positions are keep it like this only without changing so totally how many vertexes are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 vertexes are there now check this table and and select minimum edge so minimum edge means in the entire table already we prepared the table with the ascending order values so here first we select first edge that is bd with minimum weight is 2 so whenever we select the edge we collect collect the uh, keep it in the graph but just we check it it is not form a cycle now we will explain what is the cycle also so in this table which one is the minimum bd so take the bd this one is the bd with the weight is 2 okay no problem next second minimum edge what is second minimum edge next one is dt dt with 2 so where is the dt here again dt dt is here 2 okay next minimum edge what is the next minimum edge the next minimum is 3 where is the 3 cd here 3 edges um, with minimum edge there are 2 edges are there we can select any one either cd first or ac first your wish so here which one is there cd selected cd cd with 3 where is cd here 3 here nowhere uh, we are not getting any cycle so continuously we take it after cd next one is next minimum edge is 3 that is ac AC means here. So before taking the selection of edge, we have to check it to form a cycle or not AC. This is also 3. So here no cycle. Cycle means closed forms. Next one. What is the next one? BC. So what is the BC? BC uh, edge with weight 4. Select the BC. If you are selecting the BC, it is coming here like this. If you write like this, it form a cycle. Just cycle means close it. So, if we are disclosed, we do not take this one. So, BC, we do not select it, leave it. So, this is not as yes, edges, uh, we are not selected this one. So, next one is BT. Where is the BT? Here, BT. So, check it here, BT. If we keep BT, it is also closed form, cycle. So, here, BT means totally it is closed. So, do not take BT also because if you are selected BT, it is for creating a cycle. Next one is AB. A, B with 6. Check it once. Here A, B. If you select A, B, this is also closed. Cycle form. So, do not take A, B also because it form a cycle. Next one is S, A. S, A is 7. So, where is S, A? S, A is here. So, if you are add this one, it does not form any cycle. So, select 7. S, A is 7. And what is the last one? S, C. S, C is 8. Check it once here. S, C. If you select SC, it is also form a cycle. Cycle means closed one, don't close it. So, SC is also not necessary to keep it in the graph. So, SC is also not added. So, in this out of 9 edges, we have selected how many? 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the 5. Already we know how many edges we require? 5. So, here how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. This is the one spanning tree according to Kruskal's algorithm. Now we find out the minimum cost, minimum weighting. What is the weight of this cost? That is minimum weight is what is this? 7 A to C 3 B to D 2 C to D 3 plus this is the 2. Just add sum of all the weights. 7 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. How much? 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 3, 15, 15 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 3, 10, 15 to 17. So, this is like this, you can find this is the minimum 
weight for this spanning tree. So this is the method for finding the uh, spanning tree with minimum weights using Kruskal's method algorithm. So in the Kruskal's algorithm, first simple method, first we take all the minimum weights in the ascending order. First prepare the table. Otherwise keep it in the rough graph, rough place also. First maintain all the table with minimum edges. After that select minimum edge. Which one is the minimum edge? We can select it. Not necessarily connected edges. Any edge. If it is minimum, skip it. But only thing is it has not a form a loop. No loops. We check only that thing only. No loops. If it is any place. Lo loop means closed area. If any time it is closed. See here A to S, S to C, C to A. It is closed. It is called as loop. If you are take, selecting any edge, if it is form a loop, then don't consider that edge. So like this, we can find minimum Kruskal's, minimum spanning tree with Kruskal's algorithm. Thank you for watching my video. Next video, I will explain Prime's algorithm. Finding minimum spanning tree with Prime's algorithm. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Share it to your friends. Thank you.